Misha Groil, uh, the Horn Professor of uh, Zurich University of the Arts, has been uh, teaching here in Helsinki, Sibelius Academy, this the past week. Uh, what were the most important things you wanted to share with the students here in Helsinki? First, the music, of course. <laughs> and uh, then Elia and I, the Horn Professor from uh, Sibelius Academy, she... Uh, we have an exchange together, so we, we share a lot of thoughts about teaching. And uh, when she asked me to come, we, of course, we talked about making uh, exercise for the audition, but also training fundamental things uh, for horn play playing. Uh, it seems to me that the f are the physical aspects of uh, brass playing becoming more important uh, and taken more seriously these days? I think so. We are more conscious about that our body is our instrument and we start to discover how we can provide uh, power and use it for playing the instrument um, because some sometimes we we know we we know we need power in the body but we feel it's not at the right place so you may all know it's sometimes you have tension at a place you don't need it so so for example we are working on that to provide tensity or muscle tone to another place in your body where it really can support your horn playing uh, if you do not know your, uh, know your body and muscles, what are the consequences in playing? I think you have to be conscious about certain feelings, how it feels and how it infects your sound and how you can use it in a good way, uh, especially in concert situation. So that's what we're all struggling with. We, when we're at home, we know what to do and it feels good. And as soon as we're on stage, we're getting nervous, then we feel somehow not grounded, maybe uh, shaking. And then we have to solve the problem and train in these situations. So we train the, 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 the auditioning situations and then we focus on the things how we, we can develop skills. For example, uh, we focus on feet, how, how you have the contact with the floor. And often it helps to have a different focus than just to, pe to play right. Uh, well, did you learn yourself something new things to take back home to Zurich here in Helsinki? Oh, yes. Uh, I learned a lot. And because every student is different. So even if I have my method to teach, so I can help one student with this and the other with this. And then I have also to figure out sometimes there is a problem I've never heard about and we try to solve it. And we always do it like as a cooperation. So I would always ask the student first, what would you suggest, what could help to solve that problem or this situation? So there are many things I learned uh, on this occasion.